Keith came to us on the third day of school in ninth grade. Keith managed to mess up so badly and had such a serious disciplinary incident that had to transfer him to our school, where he was. Um, Keith did not always do likable things. Uh, Keith, honestly, there were times as late as his junior and senior year when I did not think that Keith would necessarily make it. Um, but he did. Now, my distinct pleasure to bring to the stage Mr. Keith. I range from the Peach State of Atlanta, Georgia. Growing up, I had my fair share with the streets. I've been involved in everything from, from being on the block to watching my mother cry her heart out as I'm being escorted from school in handcuffs. For many years, I felt that education had no place for me. So the entire time that I was in high school, I did absolutely nothing. I went to school expecting nothing. And by, when I barely graduated high school, I graduated with nothing lined up for my future. And last but not least, I graduated in the bottom 2% of my graduating class from high school. Ranking number 46. When I was younger, I came up from like the ghetto type neighborhood. And I used to, last year I used to run with all the bad folks. I was, I wasn't stunning on my work. I was just being bad, getting kicked out of school. Just doing bad stuff. And like when I came back, I was in this program. And they put me back on track. And now I'm trying to get all my credits up and do all my right stuff right now. And I feel like it's too late. But at the same time, I feel like I'm right on time. I just had to separate myself from the, from the bad students to the good students. Basically. Like, me and him, we kind of in the same predicament. Like, he, I can tell what he went through, I don't went through. Homeboy don't went through, it's hard out here. But, uh, I put my, he, he, he gave me a little talk. I, I'm, I'm going to college. Because I know that's the right, that's the right thing to do. Because the streets ain't nothing out here. And like he said, it's really hard out here. You got to go to college and make so much stuff. Then, after graduating high school and, and wanting to go off to college, uh, I got denied admissions into Morehouse College. And so what I decided to do was, I decided to uh, go two years into a community college to gain those skills that I lacked, those skills that I did not have. And after working tremendously hard, after putting in countless amount of hours studying and really taking advantage of my education, uh, this past April, I received my acceptance into Morehouse College. And this fall semester of 2014, I will be entering a, as a student here at Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia. And it's all because I first believed, and not only, not only did I believe, but I had faith and I went out and I changed my situation. He taught me that education is very important because at one point in my life, well actually just recently, I was thinking about dropping out, but now I know education is very serious, so I guess I'm gonna stay in school, and do right, and have a good future. The Rise from 46 is an organization that was created for students like the ones you just heard from that deals with struggle every single day. 46 is no longer a number to me, but a symbol of struggle that says, no matter if I'm the richest person or the poorest person in the world, there is still some type of struggle that I have, but more importantly, that I'm willing to rise above. So I put my 46 on my chest and I rep it every single day because it is about to rise and we will rise together. I'm not looking for place to show I'm going